guys welcome to my channel i am tembi madroshe and today i will be shooting a get to know me tag please comment like and subscribe i'm super new to youtube so i'm really just trying to get into the swing of things let me know what you guys think of this upload and let's get into it so i actually have a good mix of questions that are more generic that i got from the internet and then I also have some questions that some of my Instagram followers asked me when I asked them to ask me questions specifically for this get to know me tag. So I unfortunately did not pick all of the questions from my Instagram followers because some of them are regarding elements that we will be touching on in this channel regarding food regarding fitness um regarding career and so on so hopefully as we progress with the channel um my audience will get to know those things when i address them specifically but today's upload is just about me personally so the first question is where did you grow up i grew up in tata that is a small town in the eastern cape where do you currently live i live in johannesburg or who is your first best friend? My first best friend is um, Isabelle Mashasela. She actually is still one of my closest friends today, but me and her became really, really close in grade two. That was when we were like eight years old. So it's quite nice that we are still friends to this day. Ungumamni and Ungowapi. Um, so I just said that Ndingwas Mtata, meaning I'm from Mtata, and Ndingumamia, Makwanini and so on and so on how tall are you 1,64 meters i think i'm about average height what year were you born i was born in 1996 dogs or cats i'm more of neither are you in or have you gone to college so i've been to college i went to the university of cape town for my undergrad and my honors but I am currently at the University of Witzwaterstrand and I'm doing my master's there. How do you stay motivated in your studies? Oh, this is a tricky one, especially during this lockdown um, COVID era, because to be honest, I've been so, so unproductive, especially when it comes to my um, coursework. But I think it's more of always trying to remember what the main goal is and what the end goal is so if it is attaining that um, degree or if it is getting that dream job you always have to think about that um, or if you are more of a short term goal type of person um, it's always about okay I need to submit this assignment so that I can reward myself and watch YouTube or watch my favorite series what does your curatorship business entail how does it do okay i guess this person is asking what is curatorship and what is my business and how does the whole thing work so i'll just give you guys a brief breakdown i am an art curator i'm also an art dealer and an art advisor so basically um curatorship is when you manage art collections or you manage um, particular um, objects or artifacts um, within museums or within a gallery but nowadays a lot of people including myself have chosen the independent route so I curate exhibitions independently um, and a lot of my job is mainly around curating exhibitions so you will plan the exhibition from its conception all the way to the execution point so a lot of it is like project management so you source artists you find a venue you find the budget ultimately it can also trickle into selling the artworks which is what the art dealing is how did you get a job in art at such a young age so i'm 23 going on 24 i don't really say it's a young age because I'm technically where I'm supposed to be in the art world. I did my undergrad, I did my honors, I'm currently doing my masters. When it comes to like the education side of things, I've done everything within um, the right time. And then with work, um, 
because it goes alongside the studies as well i've had to work in between work while studying as i'm doing now and i would say that technically in the art world i'm still a baby my first job was as a gallery assistant and that's basically like an internship and when i was working there um i basically had to report to a lot of people so it's still was a very junior position now i'm kind of working my way up and i'm heading more projects and because i've decided to go independent i genuinely only report to myself or clients so it has taken a little bit of time but i think i'm genuinely where i'm supposed to be in my career right now do you believe in god yes i do i was raised christian so Technically, that's the religion I subscribe to, but as I've grown older, I think I've become more um, in tune with my spirituality and kind of less religious. I don't really go to church. Um, I have my own kind of routines and regimens around how I pray, how I speak to God and so on. What is your favorite art movement? what's better than right now honestly i'm so into the contemporary moment but if i were to dig into history i think african modernity is also my favorite time um particularly within literature and visual art i think it was a fabulous moment how much do you weigh now you inspire me okay so as you guys will watch this channel you realize that i am on this um weight loss journey so most of my instagram followers are very um, familiar with this but i will regularly share my ups and downs my challenges my experiences and so on with weight loss so in the beginning of the year in january um i weighed 102 kgs and I think it's been about two months of consecutive training, eating well, um, and just being consistent in general to a point where I've lost about 13.5 kgs. So I am, if I'm not mistaken, currently 88.5. I weighed myself a day or two days ago. I weighed myself on Saturdays. So, um... If I'm not mistaken, I'm currently weighing 88.5 kgs. How did you get into the art industry and where did your love for the arts come from? I think I've always just been um, passionate about art and the arts in general. My high school experience is basically where I got my love nurtured for art. I used to take visual art as a subject in school and I think my art teacher, um, Natalie Van Weg, really cultivated that in me. I was super, super precocious. I loved reading about art, writing about art. Art theory was my favorite. I used to um, really enjoy like the essay element of art. I was also really good with the making part. So I was good at drawing. I was making sculptures. I was making tapestry i was doing a lot of stuff that was actually advanced for um grade 11 and grade 12 level so by the time i got to applying for university i considered studying fine art but then i was like oh to be honest i don't want to narrow myself too much i still need to figure out what i really want to do so my then boyfriend at the time he advised that i study um on history and I think it was because one of his friends was already in university and they were studying art history and they were like oh my god it's amazing so I think my first contact with um, the art world came from high school it was nurtured and cultivated there but my university experience kind of set it off through studying art history and all of the other disciplines within the humanities is where I really really fell in love then how did I get into the art industry? I think um, through pursuing an honors in art curating, that's when I was really opened up into the business of art. So that particular course that I did at UCT almost forced us into the working world as we were studying. We'd have workshops, we'd have internships. And from there, I never looked back. As soon as I moved to Joburg, I was already doing some independent work. Um, I started working for a gallery. Um, so it's been, it's been really, really... A journey but more than anything 
every step has led to the next and as I said before, I'm exactly where I'm supposed to be in my career right now. How do you maintain discipline with your weight loss and fitness? I love, 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 love healthy food. Like, I'm not going to lie. So it starts from that. It starts from that, like, love. And then it's also tied in with mental health, right? Because I can safely say that in the beginning of the year, when I stepped on the scale and I was like, oh my God, 102 kgs, I was kind of like, very unhappy with myself like how did I get here and it's not to say I didn't love myself at the time I genuinely embraced every inch of my body but I just knew that I kind of had let go of those healthy habits that I love so prior to my weight gain I had led a very healthy life and I was just disappointed in myself for letting those habits go so I would say that for me personally, it's the love of life and wanting to enjoy it in every in every way. In the sense that you live in abundance and in health. That's how I stay like yearning for this healthy and you know amazing lifestyle. I think it takes a lot of um, mental strength. And sometimes you can't do it on your own. Sometimes you need assistance. Like for me personally, I need professionals in my life. So I consult my doctor monthly regarding this weight loss. Um, I have a trainer that I train with almost all the time. Right now we're on training together. So I have to do workouts at home. But I need, need, need to have professionals around me um, that will keep me motivated. I know some people have accountability partners and that's really good. And then it's also got to do with like just wanting to reach the end goal, which for me is maintaining a full um, healthy life, constantly building my strength, maintaining my strength um, and fitness levels. So that basically is how I stay motivated. Where are you based? I am based in Johannesburg. Are you working for an art gallery or are you freelancing? So as I said, I am currently working independently. So I no longer work for an art gallery. I work for myself. <sighs> what is your favorite drink? Ooh, this is a tricky one. I actually have stopped drinking. So I love, 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 love a good cocktail. I'm not going to lie. But um, ever since I stopped drinking, I kind of recalibrated my entire life in terms of things I like, my taste buds. Like now things that have um, processed sugar are way too sweet for me. But if I were to say my favorite beverage has to be a mimosa. I love mimosas. And it has to have the right ratio. Like... A little bit of orange juice, let's say 10% of orange juice, 90% of your bubbles. On a daily, I'm super, super into teas. Like, that's something I love, 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 love. At the moment, um, I drink um, this ginger root and lemon peel tea from Woolies every day without fail. Twice a day, three times a day. I literally will live on it. You're wearing perfume, what scent is it? I am not wearing any perfume because I'm not going anywhere, hunty. But um, this is my favorite perfume at the moment. This is the um, Gucci Bloom perfume. What are your life goals? Hmm. That's tricky. That's tricky because people are so tricky. Like as soon as you announce what you aspire to have or what you strive for, that's when people start, you know. I'm not afraid. I'm not afraid at all. From a career perspective, I would love to curate a Biennale in my life. Like, in my life. Like, at least one. I'd love to curate a Biennale. Hopefully with my um, curatorial collective, the Recurators. Um, but basically, a Biennale is an art event that occurs every two years. It's in different cities. It can be in Venice and Berlin. Like, they have specific places for them. But it will be like a cityscape type of exhibition, large-scale works, commissioned works. It's like the epitome of 
um i guess curation without boundaries because it's not necessarily for like commercial appeal so i would love to do that the other aspiration i have is to travel i have not traveled enough like i would love 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 to at least have been to every continent um multiple cities in every continent that's something i would love 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 to do what is your favorite movie oh my god okay there's blue jasmine it is the funniest funniest movie ever like i kid you not you need to watch that movie me and my friends are obsessed i also love set it off i think it's like peak 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 black woman um doing the most like chaos violence love intimacy it's what it's like one of those faves especially like as a black woman you get to see all your favorite actresses jada pinkett smith um queen latifah all of them just being boss 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 as are you single or taken i am single as far as i know well, according to home affairs i am single what is your idea of your dream date oh guys no uh -uh, uh -uh. <laughs> if you guys knew i am in quarantine well rather social distancing or on lockdown all by myself so this is not cute i think a dream date um leaving extravagance aside because this time has really caused us to really be grateful for the little things like nothing beats netflix and chill for me this is obviously when you have been with someone for a long time and you guys are comfortable i'm not talking about those people who are trying to get you in their houses on your first date no i mean like when you've been with someone for a while you guys are comfortable you're already at that sweet pants um stage you don't have to be like sending news or wearing lingerie all the time netflix and chill with some takeouts like a nice pizza oh that is like amazing what is your go-to hairstyle so i have here a wash and go that i did this morning luckily i filmed it and i'll be posting it soon as well um but i love just wearing my hair this is my natural hair obviously i love wearing my hair in a wash and go and i just do a little puff on top or i'll have it in a ponytail or just a cute bob lately i've been wearing colored wigs which is really fun but this is typically my um daily hairstyle if i'm not going out or if, if it's just like every day going to campus doing groceries how many siblings do you have i have two siblings um i've got two brothers loyuso and uzimbonge I used to have um, an elder brother, but he is deceased now. So, technically, two brothers, three if I think about him as my angel. But um, yeah, those are my siblings. But I feel like in the family I was raised in, we kind of were brought up with our cousins as siblings as well. So, I have so many cousins, and a lot of them feel like big brothers and big sisters to me what is your go-to fast food order if i go to mcdonald's it has to be um nuggets and fries and jalapeno sauce on the side and an orange juice that is like done also love um oh chicken licking wings the best that's what i used to have all the time if i was like hungover oh, back in the day do you use a pc or a mac i use a mac and I'm reading all the questions from here. I used to have an amazing Acer and it got stolen because I used to use my MacBook with my Acer. I miss it. Like RIP to you, cutie. Whoever stole it, wow, sweetie. I don't know if it was the hype, um, but I just became a Mac girl. And now there's literally no going back. I'm a Mac sweetie. So yeah, guys, that was my get to know me tag. Thank you so, so much for watching thank you for um sending me the questions i really enjoyed filming this one hopefully i'll be back soon with more uploads for you guys don't forget to comment like and subscribe 
engage with me across all my social media it's tembi.matroshi on instagram tembi matroshi on twitter love 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 you guys Mwah.